Hey, come on in. It's time for the awesome electronics workshop. I'm Bree Pettis. I'm Joe Grand. And we get together and hang out and mess around with electronics. We eat a lot of sugar. We get to build some cool projects, show you how it's done, and uh, have some fun all in just a few short minutes. This house will be recognized <laughs> and will be rewarded. We're going to talk about using RF modules for wireless data transmissions. 10-4, RF stands for radio frequency. Thank you. You're welcome. Ever since radio waves were discovered, people have been trying to control things with them. Thanks to the marvels of modern technology, we now have modules that hobbies can use to transmit and receive wireless data. Wireless modules come in all sorts of shapes, sizes, designs, frequencies, depending on what you actually want to do with them. Here's one example, a transceiver from RF Digital. Here's a transmitter and a receiver from Parallax. These are a little bit smaller. Here's another transceiver from Radiotronics and a really small one from Nordic. This is a wireless video game controller. It's got a transceiver there and a transceiver there. So this can talk to this and this can talk to this. This is pretty cool. Here's an RF receiver development kit by Lynx Technologies that we're actually going to be using today to demonstrate some of these wireless uh, features. We have this transmitter, little key fob. With this particular RF module design, uh, we have a transmitter and receiver. With the transmitter, uh, when you hit the button to send data, there's an encoder IC that will encode the data into a certain stream, transmit that data to the receiver, and then another chip will decode that data uh, and perform some sort of action, depending on what you're telling it to do. The cool thing about this module is there's 2 to the 10 or 1024 different uh, combinations that you can link the transmitter and receiver together so they'll be able to communicate on a private channel. We've paired this key fob with this contraption here, and now when I press this button, it makes a little beep. And when I press this button, it makes the LED light up. Really cool. So cool. So rad. Oh. oh. Who kissed it? That's how this thing works right out of the box. Now let's do something custom. We're going to make the most awesome thing you've ever seen. It's going to blow your mind. So what I just did is took the wireless receiver module and integrated it with the digital voice recording module from Radio Shack. And what this thing does is you just hit a button, you can record some sound, hit another button and it will play back the sound. So in this case, I uh, hacked together a little interface on the receiver module that will actually emulate a button press. So when the receiver receives a signal from my key fob transmitter, now we can uh, remotely play sounds. Everything's set. Now we just need to go test it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good one. How many programmers does it take to change a light bulb? None. It's a hardware problem. So there are these two electrons, see? And they're going down the road. And one says the other, hey, I think I've lost an electron. And the second one says, really? Are you sure? And the other one says, yes, I'm positive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Playing with RF modules is really fun. This is a blast. We hope you learned a little bit something about playing around with RF. And if you're interested in building your own projects, take a look at the PDF on the website. It has some schematics and some links to some of these modules. Okay, now it's your turn. Make all this stuff up. Go out and get some RF modules, make some projects. And if you do, take pictures of them and upload them to the Make Flickr pool. Okay, go make some RF modules. Have a great weekend. <laughs>